Hello, it's Susan here. Art by Susan King is my channel and welcome. Um, today I'm going to be doing a puddle dip. Or at least that's what I'm calling it, puddle dip. So uh, wish me luck. <laughs> Okay, so the colors I'm using for my base coat, it's going to be Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. I mixed it with uh, Floetrol and a little bit of water. Um, I'm going to be using some leftover paints and this is the colors I'm going to be using. Brilliant Red by Arteza. And this one is Mid Yellow Arteza. I'm also using two piggies, Grenache, and Harvest Gold. Oh, there you go. Oops. Okay, I am going to be dipping on this little board here. It's, um, I'm not even sure what they call this. It's, uh, it's just a, a thin wood board uh, that I got. I got a bunch of them. So I'm going to be using that. And uh, I'm not going to be using any white. No, that's about it. What, all I'm going to be using black base and these colors. Okay, let's get going. Okay, I'm going to be laying my block down, my base. I'm using this little, um, not sure what kind of wood this is. I can't think of the name offhand. Anyway, I take the back. It's just a little piece of wood, thin wood. I'm going to add some color to it. I've got Brilliant Red. This is Arteza. So what I've decided to just, instead of just swirling it on, I'm going to just um, put little puddles in different spots. Now I'm using uh, this little piggy, whoops, oh, almost spilt it, um, Grenache. gold. It's a harvest gold by this little piggy. I don't know. Hopefully I have enough. I'm using leftover paints that I've had 
and it looks like about the last of the I'm gonna put a few drops of gold just to use it up different spots Come on. Okay. That one's done. Now, yellow, mid yellow, Arteza. I probably have way too much paint on here, but. <clears throat> Just going to put it over here. Interesting. So I'm just going to lay my canvas flat over the top. It looks like I don't have enough over here. And here. Possibly here too. So I'm just going to add a little more. Now I'm going to try and just push it down without making it slide around because it will tend to slide. Now just lift up, try and lift it straight up. Oh, oh, there's one spot that didn't get black, <gasps> but that's beautiful. I think I'm just going to leave, um, leave this as is. That's beautiful. And this is beautiful. I'm just going to add some more black in here very carefully. Just, I don't know if you can see it, but just, I don't know what happened. I guess it didn't push down enough on a couple of spots. There's one spot over here. Okay, hopefully that's okay. Hopefully that will lay flat. I've got to get my, um, my, uh, what do you call it? My, uh, torch to torch any air bubbles. I can see a couple of air bubbles in there now. So what I'm going to do is just torch it.
see one right here. It's going to leave a weird mark. But this is really nice. I'm going to just check for air bubbles. Here's one. I love it. I don't know which way it would look best. Maybe that way. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. I'll show you a close up. All right, then. I really like this one, too. Actually, that one almost looks better. Which way does it go here? I think it goes that way. Facing from the bottom up. This is the top, maybe. Pretty. Looks like a bunch of tulips. Okay. I will let it dry and show you the results at the end if it dried well. Okay, I've decided that it just looks like a plate of potatoes. <laughs> it's a bunch of blobs. So I'm just going to try and dip it again and see what happens. And if not, then maybe then I'll just balloon smash it or something. I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to go like this. Place it down. Make sure it makes contact. <clears throat> ah, I'm just going to lift it straight up and see what happens. Try and lift it straight up. Nope. Oh, wow. That is weird. Wow. I don't know. What do you think? Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, I believe it looks a little better than it, it was. I kind of like it. Well, it's a lot better than what it was. I'm not sure which way to put it though. Just going to show you a close up of it. I'll let it dry. See how it looks when it's dry. Yeah, I thought I would show you the dried result. Um, it looks okay. Dried, dried flat didn't move around anymore. I did modify it a little bit, um, but it was hard to modify because there wasn't much paint on the uh, on the board, left on the board after I was finished. So, and it's dull. It's not, um, not shiny really. That's the only reason I'm getting shine right now is because of the light, but it's kind of dull as you can kind of see. It soaked right into the board. Uh, this is the board that I'm using and I didn't I should have probably primed it first before I painted on it so that's my mistake. It could brighten up and look better once it's varnished but 
not gonna sh not sure if I'm gonna keep this or not. So it's kind of cool, but um, not my best work. And the lines that I did when I modified it um, indented the paint a little bit, so. I might just pour over it. I'll probably end up pouring over it. Okay. Bye for now.